the Gettier problem. I'm going to pronounce it like that because this is stupid and it looks like a French name, so... Uh, Gettier sounds even stupider. I don't know. I'm just going to assume it's French. I don't know. The dude's allegedly American. I don't care. He's, he's dead now. Is he dead now? Yeah, he died in March. He's dead now. I don't care. Okay, so the Gettier problem. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, in the field of epistemology is a landmark philosophical problem concerning the understanding of descriptive knowledge. That sounds grand. What happens? Oh, 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 attributed to American philosopher Edmund Gettier, Gettier type counterexamples challenge the long held justified true belief account of knowledge. What a stupid account of knowledge. Why are you, Why would anybody believe this in the first place? Right? So a justified true belief. So this is something that you think. Okay. You think it. Um, it has to be true. And there has to be a justification, a reason that you think it's, that you believe it. And that's what we're going to call knowledge. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? So, and this is supposed to be regarding, like, propositional knowledge or some bullshit, right? The, the core of, of epistemology, the thing that we're worried about for epistemology. Okay, so here's a r ridiculously simple example of how this is bullshit. Say we have two people talking to each other, and um, we're, we're only gonna, there's only going to be three utterances here. Okay, and we're going to see that this is bullshit back and forth. And one of the people is only going to say one word, and that's going to be enough. Okay, so the first person says, I know what you're going to say. The second person says, how? And the first person says, I didn't know you were going to say that. Okay, so, in the first sentence, in the, at the time of the first utterance, or prior to the time of the first utterance, your first person has knowledge. They know something. Is it justified? <clears throat> Fuck if I know. Is it true? Turns out it's not gonna be. Is it a belief? Yeah. That much I agree with. Okay. And then, b by the third utterance, we find out that he didn't know, or the first person didn't know what the second person was gonna say. Okay. And, like, I think under this justified true belief thing, that would be, like, it's the same knowledge, but it was wrong, so, it was like, I don't, I don't even know how you'd analyze it. They're two separate pieces of knowledge. I think that's the important thing. They're two separate things. One of them was just missing. It didn't have this knowledge. The other knowledge was false. So justified true belief, no, no, it isn't. That's not what knowledge is. That's not what knowledge is. And this is why I, um... I don't understand the whole thing, the whole worry about an ontology. Why do you need an ontology? Why are you worried about truth? Because you're an idiot. Truth isn't fundamental to anything that happens uh, in logic. It, it, it isn't. <laughs> right? I mean, as far as, like, what is in, a, in reality true, like, that sort of true... It does is not relevant to anything in logic. What are we doing? What are we doing? Epistemology is fundamentally about logic. It's about reasoning. It's about how do you get to, um, how do you get to a claim that you're so confident and bold enough in that you will challenge other people about it, who who have different different views than you. That's what it's about. Like, how do you know this is true, right? So one person says, I know that Jesus loves me. And another person says, I, Jesus didn't even exist. They both have knowledge regarding Jesus, and that knowledge contra is contradictory. 
what are you doing? What are you doing? Fundamentally, they both have knowledge. They can't both have justified true beliefs. They might both have justified beliefs, but they can't both be true. Right? So just, like, without even trying, this whole justified true belief bullshit can be thrown away immediately. What are we doing? So then he, the Getty thing, it's this whole convoluted crap about, like, ten coins in somebody's pocket or some bullshit, and, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's not that hard. What are you doing? Why are you making it so complicated? Like, the what a basic, what a basic thing is, is, let's see, here we go, here's a rundown of it. Start with a case of justified false belief. Okay. Amend the example making the element of justification strong enough for knowledge, but the belief false by sheer chance. Okay. Amend the example again, adding another element of chance such that the belief is true, but which leaves the element of justification unchanged. Right, so this is like, I am I know that the next president will be a woman. And then it just so happens that only, only women run. Right, but I had a specific individual in mind because I, I know that she's really popular and whatever. Like, sure, meh, you can do that really lazily. You don't have to, it's, it's not that difficult. <laughs> right? And for this to be viewed as a landmark philosophical problem concerning the understanding of descriptive knowledge. What the hell have you idiots been doing forever? Are you kidding me? What? God damn it.